Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. Well, I'm here on a Sunday because I got to put this alligator skeleton back in the, in the collection. Uh, I had this alligator laid out for a science cafe that I did recently and I also kind of arranged the osteoderms into this public service announcement for the upcoming election and everybody should go vote. But I wanted to show you this alligator. It's really nice. The skull is beautiful. The rest of the bones are fantastic. It was expertly dissected by Lydia Giesegi, an undergraduate researcher in our lab. And then the Dermestid beetles, also good team members, sort of finished it off. What I really want to show you is the tail on this animal. An alligator of this size should have a tail that would end sort of around over here. But this one is much shorter. And as soon as this animal came in, we knew that there was something going on with its tail. It had sort of this gnarly stump. Uh, presumably another gator bit off this guy's tail. So we were interested to see what that might look like once it was skeletonized. Well, let me jump up here and show it to you a little bit uh, closer. And so here's the bony part and here's sort of this, uh, sort of the remaining part. What's sort of interesting is that they formed a false joint between this distal part and the bony part. And this part is actually pretty hard, but I don't think it's bone, although we haven't done histology. It's, it's collagenous material that probably was somewhat calcified um, and certainly maybe was stiffened uh, by, by drying out after this, this process. So the question sort of is, does this actually count as tail regeneration? The reality is that lots of vertebrates will regenerate limbs that have been lost for various reasons. Um, lizards actually have something called caudal autotomy, um, like, like this iguana right here. With caudal autonomy, it's almost like they jettison the tail when they're stressed out or under attack. The tail will sort of wiggle and distract the predator. Here's the beautiful um, example of tail regeneration in a green iguana. This was dissected by a PhD student in our lab, DJ Morgan. And you can see how the bone ends here. And there's this big, long, collagenous portion that was regenerated. Um, DJ just dissected it and it was wrapped in, in muscles and skin, which looked different, but the tail probably still functioned pretty well. This looks pretty different. To me, this doesn't look like tail regeneration. This looks like normal wound healing with the scarification uh, and the formation of, of collagenous tissue right in here. And so this alligator still has lots of stories to tell, but I gotta go ahead and put this thing away so we can get back to using this table as a conference table. And so with that, I'm Larry Whitmer, and that was today's Random Act of Anatomy. Thanks very much.